nearly everyone is familiar with the idea of dot phrases, and, the dragon voice macros. In Brillion's, the dot phrases are called auto notes because they automatically insert text in the progress note. Though the dot phrases have been around in other electronic health record systems, there is no such functionality in CPRS. The nearest CPRS equivalent are the data objects, which only work inside the CPRS templates. They cannot be used as standalone commands. Currently, Brillions is the only software which has the ability to enter the static text and dynamically generated clinical data, including the data objects. Each auto note has a short name, which is associated with some predetermined static text, or a clinical data extraction command, or a combination of those elements. In addition to the large number of system provided auto notes, each user can create their own auto notes. Typing the auto notes name in CPRS sends a command to Brillions, which generates and enters the associated text directly in the CPRS progress note. First, this video tutorial describes how to use the auto notes. The second part of the video describes how to create your own auto notes. In a typical implementation using dot phrases, the user types the dot, immediately followed by the name of the desired dot phrase, without any spaces. Instead of dot, Brillions uses the semicolon as the trigger character. In normal writing, the semicolon character is always followed by a space. Brillions takes advantage of this fact. Using Brillions, to insert a auto note in CPRS, the user types the semicolon character, and start typing the desired auto note's name, without any spaces. The software detects that the semicolon is not followed by a space and treat it as a trigger for invoking the auto note feature. One of the reasons why Brillions uses semicolon instead of the dot, is to further reduce the need for typing the full name of the auto note. As the user types the auto note's name, Brillions shows a list of the matching auto notes in real time. At any point, the user can select an auto note from the list by pressing a number key shown in the user interface. This eliminates the need for continued typing until an exact match is found. To select an auto note, when the desired auto note is highlighted in the auto notes list, press the enter key to accept the highlighted auto note. This deletes the user typed auto notes name and replaces it with the Brillion's generated text for the given auto note. To clearly show, and, annotate the process, this training video uses very slow user actions for typing the auto notes name, and the selection method. In real life use, you can type the auto notes at a much faster pace, though, not too fast. You need to allow Brillion's time to process commands in real time. With experience, users become familiar with the proper typing speed which works the best for them.
Brilliance provides a dedicated form to manage the personal auto notes. The user can open this form from the auto notes menu on the clinical tools menu on the main form. Each user can create an unlimited number of personal auto notes. Using the same form, the user can edit the auto note at any time, for example, to improve notation or to fix the typographical errors. The user can review the personal and the shared auto notes using the radio buttons on the top of the left pane. Needless to say, the user can review the shared and other sources of auto notes but cannot edit them. The user can edit his or her personal auto notes only. When reviewing the non-personal auto notes, the editing related buttons are disabled. See buttons below the list of auto notes in the left pane. The left pane displays the list of existing auto notes. Click on a listed item to view the associate text. The text may contain the boilerplate text or a data extraction command or a combination of the two. How to use the Brilliance commands for data extraction is detailed in a separate training video. The user can add, edit, rename or delete their personal auto notes at any time. Please see the buttons below the list to perform these actions. For each action, the user interface guides the user. Therefore, some actions are not shown in detail. When appropriate, Brilliance shows messages for guidance. These are not error messages. The upper half of the right pane shows the text editor. This is where you type in your boilerplate text and the data extraction commands. If your auto note contains a command, you can click on the test button to see how the output will look in CPRS. The output of the command is displayed in the lower text editor in the right pane. Of course, if the given patient does not have the data requested by the command, then Brilliance has nothing to display. Most commands support adding a remark when the requested data is not available. The remainder of this section demonstrates how to perform the auto notes related common actions.